Attack on Titan, 10 Fights That Lived Up to the Hype Many fights took place throughout Attack on Titan, but there were certain ones that truly lived up to the hype. Not only is Attack on Titan a masterwork of storytelling, but it also depicts some of anime's most incredible fight scenes. Thanks to the series' iconic omnidirectional mobility gear, every fight brings stylistic visuals unique to Attack on Titan. Each sequence is carefully choreographed and animated, offering viewers a feast for the eyes. Of course, any anime that is known for its fight scenes is going to have a reputation to uphold. When fans know a fight is coming, it does not take long for the hype to start building, especially for a series in which conflicts can span the length of several episodes. Warning, heavy spoilers for the Attack on Titan anime follow. 10. The series kicks off the action with the battle for Trost. The first major battle of the series comes shortly after Eren and his friends complete their training and join the scouts. While celebrating atop the wall, the colossal titan appears and kicks a hole through the wall itself, allowing smaller titans to pour in, just like what happened in Eren's hometown at the start of the series. As the series' first big fight sequence, viewers naturally hype up what could possibly happen over the course of the next several episodes. What almost no one saw coming was Eren being eaten by a titan. While manga readers knew what was about to happen, it came as a shock to anime-only audiences when the series' main character was seemingly killed off. A much more well-known surprise came after that when it was revealed that Eren was the one controlling the new titan that had suddenly appeared and was killing the smaller titans. With so many reveals in just the first arc alone, this fight surely lived up to the hype. 9. The Female Titan Pursues Eren Relentlessly The first season of Attack on Titan brought many surprises with it for fans who had not read the manga. Viewers were treated to their first intelligent titan. Other than Eren when the female titan attacked the scouts during their first excursion outside the walls. This, of course, came as a shock, since it occurred so soon after the reveal of Eren's titan powers. The subsequent battle spanned multiple episodes, with fans tuning in every week for the latest updates on the fight between the female titan and the scouts. Would Eren betray the trust of his comrades and transform into a titan to fight the female? Who would be the next victim of the female? Who is controlling it? These were all questions that the audience had on their minds while watching this arc play out. Of course, the conclusion to this storyline is a satisfactory one, even if the scouts were unsuccessful in uncovering her identity or in capturing her. 8. Emer Reveals Her Secret If there was one thing that fans learned by the end of the first season, it was that there were more secrets than anyone realized within the walls of the city. Every episode of the second season brought with it new revelations, from Historia's true identity to the discovery of Reiner and Bertholdt's Titan abilities. One often overlooked plot twist is Emer's ability to transform into a Titan. After her transformation scene at the tail end of one episode, it quickly became obvious that the next one would contain a major fight scene. It certainly lives up to the hype as Emer's Titan is different than any other that the audience has seen at this point in that she is much smaller and more agile. Emer can hop around between targets, and her powerful jaw allows her to tear into their flesh. Thanks to her newly revealed powers, Emer is able to protect her friends. 7. Reiner Bertholdt Reveal Themselves Reiner and Bertholdt revealing themselves as the armored and colossal titans respectively is arguably one of the most shocking moments in the series. Reiner reveals this key information to Eren in passing, causing both the audience and Eren himself to do a double take and ask themselves if they just heard correctly. Upon learning this information, Mikasa does not hesitate to attack, leading to an intense battle. Bertholdt as the colossal titan sits atop the wall and tries to neutralize the scouts, while Eren faces Reiner one-on-one -on, -one on the ground. This fight sequence is sure to hype up any fan of the show, 
considering the armored and colossal titans are responsible for kicking off everything that's happened so far. This is a rematch that everyone has been waiting for. And the payoff is very much worth it. 6. Kenny the Ripper Ambushes Levi Season 3 of the series introduced a new threat in addition to the horrific titans. Instead of only worrying about monsters, the scouts now must defend themselves against other human beings. Namely a serial killer and Levi's uncle, Kenny, along with his group of henchmen. The fight that follows is certainly among the series' most impressive sequences, thanks to not only the superb animation, but also the emotional stakes as well. 5. Rod Rice Becomes a Titan With the revelation of Historia's lineage, her father seeks to place her in a position of power and re-establish the status quo of parody. To do so, he must turn Historia into a titan and have her consume Aaron to absorb his powers. However, Historia's loyalty to her friends is stronger than her familial ties, and she turns on her father and tries to set Aaron free. Fueled by feelings of betrayal, Rod Rice proceeds to turn himself into a titan and stop them before they can escape. At the same time, the scouts have launched a rescue mission to save Aaron by infiltrating the caverns below the Rice Chapel where he is being held. Kenny, having been hired by Rod, stands in their way. Anyone watching would naturally be eager to see how this situation unfolds, and the ensuing battle delivers on every expectation. Kenny's arc is concluded and the audience learns more about the Ackermans, while Rod's titan is ultimately dispatched by Historia, who accepts her role as the city's true ruler. Four. Levi faces off against the Beast Titan. During the Battle of Shiganshina, the Beast Titan corners Erwin, Levi, and a significant portion of the scouts in a small village just outside the wall. With nowhere to run and the Beast Titan destroying their cover by throwing giant rocks, Erwin plans a last-ditch suicide run, in which the remaining scouts, led by Erwin, will charge directly at the Beast. Meanwhile, Levi is instructed to use the diversion to sneak around behind the beast and take him down. Levi reluctantly agrees to this plan, and the end result is very much worth it in the end. He is able to catch the beast titan off guard and manages to completely bring him down in a matter of minutes. He cuts Seek free from the nape of the monster's neck and is ready to execute him before the cart titan swoops in for a last-minute rescue. 3. The Eldians Invade Marley The third season concludes with Aaron looking out over the sea and wondering aloud if they will be able to achieve the freedom they have been seeking by killing their enemies in Marley. Of course, this easily hypes up the fanbase for the eventual showdown across the sea, and it is definitely worth the wait. The fourth season's first few episodes depict the invasion of Marley. As the Eldians attack suddenly and violently, with Aaron consuming the Warhammer Titan. On top of Aaron acquiring new abilities, the Eldians also find a new ally in Zeke and take Gabby and Falco prisoner. Sadly, the fight also leads to the death of fan favorite Sasha Browse. These events make the battle one of the series' most significant conflicts, as the course of the story is changed drastically. 2. Levi Zeke have a short-lived rematch. As if Levi completely decimating the Beast Titan once wasn't enough, Ackerman had a rematch with Zeke in the final season. After slipping some of his spinal fluid into Parody's supply of wine, Zeke is able to transform the vast majority of the military soldiers, including Levi's squad who is supervising Zeke, into Titans. Consumed by anger, Levi slaughters his entire former squad and pursues Zeke through the woods. With nowhere left to run, Zeke transforms into the Beast Titan to stop Levi. However, Levi's unmatched skill proves to be too much for Zeke, as he is quickly neutralized by the scout. Levi, once again, proves that he is not a force to be reckoned with. 1. Aaron the Scouts Return to Where It All Began 
Arguably the most anticipated arc of the series, the return to Shiganshina, is understandably hyped. The scout's goal since season 1 has been to get back to Eren's childhood home and find out what his father, Grisha, was hiding. Of course, getting there is no simple task. Not only has the journey been a long one, but the scouts must now be prepared to face the armored and colossal titans since Reiner and Bertholdt escaped their previous capture attempts. The battle that unfolds in this city is some of the series' best work, as it takes the emotional stakes to an all-time high. Reiner and Bertholdt are forced to fight against their friends. And viewers get a closer look at Erwin and Levi's friendship, which ends with the heavy decision of saving either the leader of the scouts or Armin.